Rocks are naturally occurring solid aggregates of minerals or mineraloids. They are classified based on their formation processes and the minerals they contain. Types of rocks. Igneous rocks are formed from the solidification of molten magma or lava. There are two main types, intrusive or plutonic. Igneous rocks are formed when magma cools slowly beneath the Earth's surface, such as granite. On the other hand, extrusive or volcanic igneous rocks are formed when lava cools quickly on the Earth's surface, like basalt. Sedimentary rocks are formed from the accumulation and lithification of sediment. These rocks can be categorized into three types. Plastic sedimentary rocks are formed from fragments of other rocks, for example, sandstone. Chemical sedimentary rocks are formed from mineral precipitation like limestone. Finally, organic sedimentary rocks are formed from the accumulation of plant or animal debris such as coal. Metamorphic rocks. These fascinating rocks are formed from the transformation of existing rock types due to heat, pressure or chemically active fluids. We have two main types of metamorphic rocks. First we have foliated metamorphic rocks. These exhibit a layered or banded appearance like schist and gneiss. Then there are non-foliated metamorphic rocks. These do not exhibit a layered appearance, examples being marble and quartzite rock cycle. This concept describes the dynamic transitions through geologic time among the three main rock types. The processes involved in the rock cycle include melting, cooling, erosion, sedimentation and metamorphism. Characteristics and uses. Let's break it down a bit. First, igneous rocks. These are hard and durable, making them ideal for construction. For example, granite is often used for buildings and basalt is used for roads. Next, sedimentary rocks. These rocks often contain fossils and are used in building materials. Limestone, for instance, is used for cement, while sandstone is used in construction. Finally, metamorphic rocks. These are typically more resistant to weathering. They're used in sculpture and architecture, with marble being a popular choice for statues and slate for roofing. Key concepts first. The texture of rocks. This refers to the size, shape and arrangement of mineral grains. Textures can be coarse-grained, fine-grained, glassy or porphyritic. Next, mineral composition. This determines the properties and classification of rocks. Common minerals include quartz, feldspar, mica and calcite. Finally, rock formation environments. Igneous rocks form in volcanic and plutonic environments. Sedimentary rocks form in riverbeds, oceans and deserts. Metamorphic rocks form deep within the Earth's crust under high pressure and temperature. Understanding these fundamental concepts about rocks is essential for geology and Earth science studies.